guys in this video i'll tell you about how to connect your oled display to raspberry pi 02w for that you will be needing a pi 02w oled display a few jumper wires and a usb cable get your jumper cable and line one end up so that they fit the oled display perfectly now connect the other side of the jumper wires to the pico as shown in the circuit diagram here first connect the vcc pin to the 3.3 volt pin of the pi followed by sda and scl pin right below it and the ground pin right next to the scl pin make sure all the connections are right now to power the pi get your usb cable and connect it to the power port of the pi 02w Moving on to the PC, we will first SSH into the Pi. If you don't know how to SSH or or how to enable it, please watch the previous two videos regarding the setup and communication of the Pi. Enter the username and password to connect to the Pi 02W. And before we move on to the coding and all, we need to enable I squared C controllers on the board. Use the command sudo raspy config to enter the configuration tool. Head into the interface option and enable the I squared C. After exiting the configuration tool, we'll head into the configuration file of Pi. Why? To change the I squared C bus speed from 100k to 400k to make the animations happen a little bit more faster on the display. For that, use the command sudo nano slash boot slash firmware slash config.txt. You see the line where it is written gt pad on equals to i squared c underscore r equals to on. On the same line, type by adding a comma like comma gt pad on equals to i squared c underscore r underscore baud rate equal to 400k. After that, save the file and exit by control s and control x. After enabling the i squared c and increasing its speed. Use the command to see if i squared c device is on or not. ls ls l slash dev slash i squared c star to list all the present i squared c controllers. You will see two controllers present on the Pi 02W. We will be using the one as two is reserved for HDMI. After installing the first few libraries, type uh, the command i2c detect space dash y space 1 you see there is our display present on the address 3c or 0x3c to be precise we'll be needing this address later when we code for the display to print something on it after that let's uh, make a folder using mkdir command and name it uh, oled underscore display move into that folder using command cd space oled underscore display now make a python virtual environment using the command python space dash n space when space when after that wait for a few seconds as it creates a separate python installation after it is done start the new python installation by the command source space bin slash bin slash activate and to deactivate it later, you just need to type deactivate into the console. Now we install the second set of libraries and dependencies which we will which will help us to run our OLED display. This might take some time to install. Uh, after these are done, head into the examples folder inside the luma.examples folder. Uh, run any of the examples to see if it comes up on the display or not. Let's, uh, let's start with the 3 dboxpy example. Okay, it's working. We can see the box is rotating in a 3D space. Next, we try uh, welcome.py. Okay, now you can see that it prints uh, welcome in different different languages. Next, we try uh, clock.py. Yes, it works too and shows the time also. Similarly, we can uh, play games, show animations and display gifs in on the display now let's see how we can print a text on the display first open the text editor using the command sudo nano oled.py 
I'll not, I'll not be explaining the code line by line as it will be given out on the GitHub and the blog too. Feel free to check those out later. And yeah, the address from the previous 0x3c will be using it right here. What we'll do is uh, write a simple hello world program and we'll save and exit the editor. Now we run the file that we just wrote using the command python space the file name dot py which is ole dot py. Yeah, now you can see that uh, we have successfully printed hello world onto the display. So this is it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.